Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I will show you step by step how you can easily use workload for your project in <clears throat> monday.com. So let's start. Now there are two ways how you can find a uh, workload. You can find in add views or you can click here more views and here I'm going to write in search workload. I'm going to click open in board and now as you can see I got unsigned because uh, unsigned got no uh, like tasks assigned at all so let's just like assign people here and I'm going to show you how it's going to look like and then I'm going to show you what you can do with it so let's say this is going to this guy this guy and this is this guy this guy and this guy so now we assign some roles in the moment when I'm going to click on the workload it's going to look like a little bit different Oh, this is January, so I would need to change the date here for like, let's say August. And also this is going to be again August. Okay. And let's see how it's going to look right, right now. See? Right now, in the moment when I change the dates, we can see the workload, but you can ask myself like, okay, Marcus, but what these blue things mean? They are like overload. And I'm going to explain to you how it works. When you would go to the settings, uh, you have the time columns here. You can have set work by items or sub, sub items if you want to focus on items or sub items. Then you have option to have a single project as a timeline or completion date. So there are two uh, like columns uh, that I want to add to my workload. Uh, then there is a resource type, which is going to be owner, or it can be a board, it can be a subtask, it can be based on status, working on the done future steps. So let's it's going to be owner. Effort and capacity. So measure effort by, effort by. Workload is based on number of items. Weekly capacity. So let, let's say default max amount of items a person can assign per week. So like let's say this is going to be one. Or let, this is going to be zero. All are going to be red. Let's say five. In the moment when you see like, okay, they can get more items to get assigned. But in the moment when you're going to change the weekly capacity for uh, the workload, in the moment everything is going to change right so this is really important to say and how it actually works in the moment when you're going to change the capacity you can see the one one two in this week you can have it as a days or weeks but in the moment when you would go like let's say two this guy is finished for this week so he shouldn't get any more tasks this is really up to you how you're gonna like edit it. Also, you got another thing, edit capacity per person. So you can change uh, the default max capacity to everyone and you can assign it to uh, one person or the second person here. So you can edit those two if you want to. And that's pretty much it how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Then you have also option that you can measure effort by uh, effort. So you can go by a duration or planned effort or effort spent and how to divide effort so again you're gonna like divide it and this is something that you can do i like to count items more but it's like up to you which one you would choose then you have a chose groups here and what you can do here uh, it's pretty simple you can single project you can have like planning execution here and launch so you can have both these Wait a second, I will just do this. So there are two two things what you can actually do. Now, another thing what you can do in a workload is not only like have it this, but let me show you. I can go to my project that I have as a YouTube channel, I guess. And I'm going to find it. Yeah, workload here. And as you can see, I got also like campaign management here. 
see so when I would go to settings that's something you can do too and again I can easily uh, change the count items to have like let's say five or let's say this would be two look at this if I'm going to have like three and in a moment when I'm changing the weekly capacity everything is changing with itself So that's pretty much it, how we can use it and what you can do about it. Now, if you're going to have, of course, any questions regarding this, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And yeah, I don't know what else to explain to you guys about, about this. It's pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And yeah, I hope you're going to have a great day. You know how it goes, you know how it is. And this is the workload. So uh, there is nothing really much to talk to about. You can of course like collapse it like this. You can change the days, the weeks, the months. You can of course export it to Excel, rename it full screen. You can edit that too if you want. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.